All right, I'm going to be reacting to Honest Trailers, The Little Mermaid, 2023. I like that movie. It was good, but let's just, let's just get into this. The Honest Trailer. Check out the real fish we got to react to the live-action Little Mermaid. Let's go back. Oh, God, what the f***? Sorry, that was, that was terrifying. Link in the description below. From the studio that turns animated classics into bland remakes, weird prequels, <laughs> and waking uh, nightmares. Yo. I did not see Pinocchio. Comes the live action event of Fiscal Quarter 3. Because getting Disney fans to watch the same movie twice is as easy as shooting fish in a bear. Er, stealing candy from a baby. The Little Mermaid, again. Journey Under the Sea, where everyone... One thing I will say about The Little Mermaid, it gives... Like, doing these remakes gives, um... Disney the chance... The chance to, like, fix any... <sighs> character flaws. Like, they kind of, like, made Eric better. They fleshed out the story a little bit more. Is what I can say, but... Yeah, let's go. The fish version of racist. Stop being such a guppy. Where is she going with those slippery good for nothings? <laughs> Not you the fish version of racist. You're savages. And meet Ariel, whose casting made a splash with the mermaid pigment police. Her skin tone may be different from the original text, but don't worry, it's still That's inspired great. by the original author's gay crush, with songs written by a gay theater legend and characters based on famous drag queens. A black mermaid in the Caribbean, though? Sounds like they're trying to make my mermaid cartoon, uh, woke. Witness the perfect match between Ariel Have you and heard Prince her Eric. voice, though? She's like a weeaboo, but for all humanity, he's into every other culture. We have to stay open to what's out here. That's the only way our island can grow. I love the people there. Their culture. Their Eric has a purpose in this to reach movie, out to, other to be honest. So we don't get left behind. And both of them are unrepentant hoarders. Watch their romance overcome the odds, where Ariel must give up her voice, body, that home, still and family crazy in the to find too. true love, while Eric must kiss a hot mute who sits quietly while he explains his dumb little hobbies. Those waters were all uncharted. Ah, this is our island. Must have been hard having to make out, lose nothing, and become prince of the ocean <laughs> as a treat. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy is divine as Ursula, even though she spends most of the film lounging around and complaining. Not that she doesn't have her reasons. I'm banished you know. and exiled, driven halfway to madness in this dim little crevice for 15 long years. While like Javier that, Bardem's King Triton is past. happy to let his beard do the acting. You can go find her. Yes, your majesty. He's an a-hole <laughs> who clearly spent his youth docking at any port in the ocean and wears his own subjects as a cape? Honestly, who does that? Surrounding them is oh, a seafood crazy. tower's worth of supporting cast, like Sebastian, a crab designed in such defiance of God's plan that he would die if exposed to water. That mouth hole is my sleep paralysis demon. Jacob Tremblay voices Flounder in the latest <laughs> bad movie he's still too young to be blamed for. The villain from True Lies is in it, which is always nice. And Aquafina yeah, co-stars as person. a bird who sounds like Aquafina. Wow, chicka wow, wow, chicka wow, wow, chicka wow. Raps like Aquafina. From the women who wash all the clothes to the hunter who arrows the bows, the chatter all over the palace is that your Prince Eric is gonna propose. And keep showing up even after we've gotten sick of her shtick like Aquafina. I was right about the Dinglehopper, wasn't I? Shut up, bird. <laughs> <laughs> So before you see the planned live-action remakes of Snow White, Lion King 2, Moana, Lilo and Stitch, Hercules, Bambi, The Sword in the Stone, Robin Hood, The Aristocats, and Hunchback, experience the diminishing returns of a live-action Little Mermaid, where the new songs are half-bast Oscar bait, Uncharted waters. or Lin-Manuel Miranda's <laughs> draft folder. <laughs> why, who who does that now, why did you do him like that? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you put that little riff in? Leave Eric alone. You try. Told you so, let's go, let's go. The new visuals are pulled up from the uncanny trenches. And while the new Ariel could sing the roof off the ocean, yes, the new can. everyone else just floats around and wonders, where's new hey, Ariel? We got nothing else going well on for us here. In, um, Where is Ariel? 
Where are you, child? Where's Ariel now? What do you mean? She's right here. Oh. Across the whole ocean looking for this child. Ariel! Ow! So where is she? We don't know, <laughs> Father. She's gone. We just have to find Ariel and get her back home. She was around here somewhere. I think I know where Ariel is. Sarah, two teeth. I've been looking. <laughs> Ariel, I've been looking for you. Ariel, somebody oh got to God. nail that girl's fins to the floor. Starring Never Fin Kissed. Chasing tail. If I wasn't oh. Jamaican, then why would I wear this hat? How can she speak and breathe underwater? New Flound Glory. Aww. No kingdom for old merms. Say yes to the Ness. And Octopushy. Oh. Feet pray love. Stop it. We got the hot crustacean band. Yeah. Okay, where's the hot crustacean band you're singing about? Even Aquaman had an it's octopus on drums. The instrumentation of the sea. Duh. Thanks for watching. And if you've made it this far, why not stay under the sea and watch a real fish react to the new Little Mermaid? Hey, uh, that bird just ate another fish right in front of you. <laughs> Click the thumbnail on the right to watch now. In a world where LAX finally finished construction. I swear, people spew things. Oh, man. Wait, let me just... Wrong, so that I read the comment. Three little maids of school are we, filled to the brim with girlish glee. Send help. I've been kidnapped, and they're forcing me to work in an epic voice factory. Oh, did y'all see the little mermaid, though? That was good. Man, I hope you could hear me throughout that. But anyway, yeah. Under the sea. Under the sea. <laughs> but I thought it was a good movie. Hallie killed it for sure as Ariel. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you'd go refer to that. I think The Little Mermaid was the best live action that they've done. There's a reason why people went back to see it over and over again. And why it grossed that much. It's just a fun time. Everybody needs to calm down. Everybody needs to calm down. Is there like a video for calm down ASMR? Go watch that. Alright, but anyway, yeah, that's the end of the video. Like and subscribe. Post all the time.